and we the Creek called ourselves Nehiawak, which comes from the word Neo, for Weawak, dimen um, dimensional body people. That means that we acknowledge that we have and that it's important to keep our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual in balance and in harmony. And again, we need to strive for that. We've been off track because of our history. Our elders also remind us that our pipe is our constitution. We still carry on our ceremonies, our traditions, our protocols, our stories, and follow the natural law, love, honesty, sharing, and determination through prayer. As, as I began in my research, I realized that our traditional knowledge is embedded in our ceremonies, and the elders told me we must go back to this knowledge to guide us in all that we do. In addition to this, this is this, the, uh, our elders in our, our communities developed the vision of Blue Quills when they took over in 1970. And they, and they said that they were responsible for educating their own children and they were going to take that responsibility back. I remember listening to my parents, my aunt, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, and, and family members dreaming out loud. And they, and at that time, I just listened because I looked around and there wasn't very many people in the area of post-secondary education. And I also recall that my first experience in the ceremonial sweat lodge was later in the 70s. Prior to that, I had not been exposed to it as I was a residential school student. But they would say, and this is the, the power of stories, they would sit and they would talk and they would dream about how the, they, were good, they were going to have teachers in our communities. I think there might have been one or two at the time. My late aunt, Auntie Jo was one of the teachers. They would have lawyers. They would have tribal administrators. They would have secretaries, daycare workers, and they would go on and on and on. And slowly, gradually, as the years went by, I thought, yeah, that's a possibility. In 1975, when our community said, we need teachers, we're building our schools. And Buchel stepped up to the plate, the board said, we are going to have a B.Ed. program. And so, in their, the belief in their people that we could do it, that we could challenge anything. Then they went on to say, we are going to have daycare workers. We are going to have social workers. We are going to have administrators. We are going to have people in corrections. And it grew and grew. We are going to have people in trades. 